Hi guys and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh As you can see today we have a very another exclusive on the HKSZ show for all you viewers out there We are mashallah with obviously you don't need any formal introduction His Highness Ahmed Salim bin Saudin and we usually say in the traditional way you're always known by the your son so we say Abu Fahad at the same time been on our show before and at the same time just returned from a trip from Egypt and as you can see we are actually you know enjoying the Arabian tradition and we are actually here in the desert as you can see in an atmosphere in the normal Western style we would say a picnic here we're having a proper camp Asalaamu As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. How are you now? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Well, we should firstly say a formal yeah. traditional introduction <laughs> yeah. as the Arabian yeah, we, we style. Say, we say khashmak. Khashmak, yeah. mashallah, because obviously you cannot get better than this location. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we are now in the middle of the desert, in Lain Desert, I mean. Mashallah. We are in an area they call it Wadi bin Shami. Wadi bin Shami in the yeah, Al Ain Desert. Al Ain, yes, 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 yes. And this is very known place, uh, clean place, uh, fresh weather. Uh, our father used to come here a long time, you know, uh, with their camels. We are their animals. I mean, like goats, sheep, and uh, uh, enjoy their time here. I mean, in winter, uh, especially when there is rain. Mashallah. Yeah, with the, with the, you know, just like that. So you come here with the camel, so you're following the tradition of the fathers and oh, the yes, forefathers. Yes, yes. But I see you've got a mashallah, your own little majlis here. Like, you know, you have all the setup which we will show on the camera in a minute with the food, the tradition. You are you have everything all set up. Yeah, you we love it. Very, are, very we, nice. We are here, we come, we stay two, three days. Okay. You know, we don't we sleep in the desert. We don't as we as we uh, 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 as it's our father used to say stay, you know. We we make fire in the night, mm -hmm. then uh, because in the night we don't sleep too much, you know. We we, uh, we call it samra. That's right. Uh, Ramsa. We sit all the night talking about, you know, long time. Our father used to talk about what happened during the days, uh, examples of the things, how the people, if there's some, you know, they talk about everything, That's right. and they discuss everything, and this. Uh, Salute, I mean, make solution for all the problems that they have, you know. And they talk about the water, where is the water, in which place, how they can take their camels and their, and to that place and uh, give them water, feed them, you know, a lot of things. The desert and, is very... And in the mo early, early morning, then they sleep. Mashallah. Yeah, up till Salat al-Fajr. Again, they wake up. Then they drink camel milk. Milk. So now you have to drink once yes. in your lifetime, yeah, right? Yeah, and that's very strong. <laughs> very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Camel yeah. milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, they say the desert is very traditional and very associated with history. And from years and years, even like they say in the desert is when, even the history of Moses and Musa. So it goes back, into the desert goes back with the Arabian tradition from many, many, many hundreds of years, right? Even, yes. Even as... When they say that it was the valley of Taha, I think, when yeah. they, Allah spoke to, when you know, in the Quran, as they say, yeah, yeah, to yeah, Mo that, Moses, with the, in the desert, you say the this, fire. This is true. This is true what you are saying. Many, now I want to say one, maybe it's not secret, but many people, for example, in Europe, they don't know it. That's right. That all the messengers, they come from Arab countries. Yep. I mean, Jewish messenger, he came from our from Arab countries, okay? Jesus in a, is in Arabic country. Jesus, yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's yep. all in the Middle East. All in the there Middle East. There are no messengers known in the in the in the, in, the, in all history. He, he he many people think Jesus is European. Yeah. No, no. Jesus, Jesus was messenger for everybody, for everybody. Even we are before you know Muhammad. We believe that, and up till now we believe Jesus. Absolutely, yeah. We believe him that he's messenger of God. Indeed, but indeed. But we, we say the end of all messengers, Muhammad. That's right. But we believe all messengers. And all this messenger, 24 messengers about, they come from Arab countries. Well, there's no doubt about that when you talk about the messengers, when you look at the biblical versions, when you look at, you know, the cults, the culture, obviously everything now befalls in, like the Red Sea, the Dead Sea, Arabia, the Peninsula, you know, Gaza, whichever way you look at it, all Jerusalem is absolutely correct. It all falls actually okay, under fair, Arabian fair, fair history. Fair, 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 f
بيت لحم يا بثليهم ابسوليوتلي ذا فيرست ذا فيرست فيرست تشيرش ابسوليوتلي ان ذا وورد يس ويتش از بي ذا بيرث بليس اوف جيسس عيسى الاسلام از وي ساي ابسوليوتلي كوريكت ذا هيستوري از هيوج اند ناو وي ار انجوينج اوبيسلي ان ذا مودرن تايم ستيل ذا ديزرت هازنت تشينج ذا وورد ويز اور فيت يو كان سي ذا ساند اوبيسلي لايك ا جولد لايك ا جولد لوك لوك از جولد ريتش از اني ثينك يا اند ذس از واي وي لاف اول ذا بيبل Absolutely. Around the world, we love people. We love European. We love uh, India. We love Pakistan. We love because we this all all this uh, and our tradition. We we don't teach anybody. We say this is peace place. We invite. We I'm I uh, we invite and I'm from this place. Say now, please, everybody invite to come to UAE. Come to UAE. Now we have to come. We won the Expo 2020 <laughs> as well. <laughs> okay. I, 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 invitation. There I, we go. I, I am saying to the people, come. I have the way to Expo 2020. Absolutely. Your <laughs> gateway. HKZ.TV, the gateway, the path with Abu Fahad. <laughs> yeah. Welcoming the European all, and global all nations. All the way. If you want to reach to Expo 2020, come to. Absolutely. UA HK H K S Z S Z Abu Fahad Abu Fahad there we go with HK S Z group of companies yes, Abu exactly. Fahad together gonna make a very big grandstand from now not in 7 years time uh, don't come late now. don't come late that you missed start the, from the beginning you missed a lot of you, things you missed the plane come with a plan absolutely with plan here inshallah the way to expo Expo it doesn't yeah. matter what business you have what you want to set up HKZ corporate solutions we have the solutions with our group of companies for licenses for locals for sponsorships for legal solutions for areas and all the business ideas all on our websites yeah. as you can see and we are yeah. promoting global we said this many many months ago that Dubai would host Expo 2020 with the vision of his highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and obviously we are here to support the visions of Sheikh Zayed and the late Bin Sheikh Zayed and Sheikh Khalifa Al Nayyan and obviously Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed right the now Crown Prince the Crown Prince of Dubai absolutely yeah, yeah, and yeah, obviously yeah. we are doing tours we are planning to do tours to obviously unite the Arab world at the same time and make sure and to ensure that this is your destination for everybody so it's an invitation to kull dunya to the whole world all the way i am we are inviting everybody for business especially welcome we from A to Z A to Z and for tourist welcome obviously we story. are very nice people Inshallah, very no honest play, uh, people very p- peaceful c- country uh, everything as you see we are here no alhamdulillah cannot be so open yeah. cannot be so real so yeah, realistic yes. yeah, i see? mean a personality yeah. like this with such yeah. a high profile personality guys and i must say this viewers and to be so humble and to be so down to earth the invitation is not only to say oh it's expo 2020 come it's basically saying that we are welcoming you with sincerity we are welcoming you with security we are welcoming you with opportunities we are welcoming you with your ability maybe you have your ideas that you don't know how you want to put them into practice whether you want to launch and benefit from expo 2020 it's like we say one nation one vision one humanity that is the dialogue that we have and that's the incentive that we're using and you'll see that all over through our programs through our websites through all our promotions that you are warmly welcome and wholeheartedly stay tuned we'll be right back with abu fahad right after the break we used to buy because we know what our country and we know what we know uh, what what's been dubai we know vision of sheikh mohammed bin rashid absolutely we know vision of our uh, government absolutely. and what's going what what will be in the future yeah. and we know we are business people we fight always to bring the business to our country yeah absolutely now 50% and we i think in two months will go to 100% everything going up again you see so yeah. okay Prices lost are rising. and we, we, win. we win we are sure now. vision yeah, yeah. Well,
Well, viewers, welcome back after the break. And as you know, we're in the Arabian deserts and you can see we're in the daylight and not the Arabian nights. But as you can see, we've got the beautiful deserts behind us and we change our location to give you that advantage and to give you the insight. And as we usually say, taking cameras where none has been before, bringing them home to your screens with Abu Fahad, the polite and the formal and the lovable way of introducing rather than saying the long formal introductions of His Highness Ahmed Salim bin Saudin. And we were talking before we went to the break in respect to Expo 2020. Expo 2020 is an advantage, as we say, of all businesses welcome. But the biggest advantage you have with HKSZ and our group of companies is that sometimes when you're forming a license, you will need genuine sponsors, genuine local, locals who will not just do it for, shall we say, or a sponsor will not just do it for the sake of being a sponsor, but having genuine people behind you, having powerful people behind you is the security of your business wholeheartedly welcome on a global platform. Talking about that, I believe Abu Fahad, you've just come back from Egypt as well. Tell us about your trip in Egypt, in Misr, and how you've been, and how you are traveling, and how you, we will be traveling together to bring home, mashallah, the businesses on an international scale. How was your trip? Tell our viewers to Egypt what you did there, who you met and how everything was. We've been in, uh, in uh, I visit Egypt, I meet the Prime Minister of Egypt, I visit the uh, Minister of uh, Economic, Mr. Ahmed Maher, uh, Adel Labib, uh, Minister Adel Labib, uh, Minister, I'm, and uh, Governor of Cairo, just right. to uh, to share with them the idea how they can come and invest uh, in Expo 2020, or also if we can have chance to uh, make any business with them in, in Cairo. Formal invitation. Uh, yeah, and I, I, I want just to, to talk about what you have talked about. You know, we are here ready to uh, meet business, really business people, let's yeah, say. Absolutely. If they want, we can share with them even money. If they want, we can share with them. Uh, we need experience. We need uh, uh, good companies. We need uh, people have uh, have interest to come to uh, work here. We are uh, ready. To, if they want to, uh, to sponsor them, we are ready. If they want to share a partner, we are ready. If they want to share with them money, we are ready. All, right. all of it, yeah. Basically, when we say share the money, meaning that, you know, give you the opportunity to explore your business, to maze, most probably take it on to the next level, yeah. to have that security, because obviously the influence, the power, the background of any of your, um, you know, shall we say sponsorship or any of your potential um, helpers and supporters in the UAE play a vital role, right the way from your legal security to your professional security to your successful ability. These are all essential factors, aren't they? Yeah. And obviously need to be covered. And the great thing about HKSZ and what we're doing is that we've covered the legal, we've covered the licenses, we've covered the opportunities, and we have business plans and packages and ideas for you to come over. M maybe you might want to do franchising or something. Maybe you might have a different kind of idea from the UK that may, or yeah. uh, you know, other parts of the world that you may already been doing. And you may not know how to get it onto the next level over here. So it's to save the headache that we have these powerful, mashallah, and stable packages. And as you can see, Abu Fahad comes from a huge historical, you know, history with the uh, Bin Zayed family, with Abu Dhabi, and as he last time said as well in our interviews with the whole of the UAE. And obviously, you cannot get such more advantageous than this. But obviously, you go through your ups and downs, but the best thing in business is to be secure at all times. So we're here to make it like the locals love is, philanthropy, not only to, you know, welcome you whether you're a tourist or a business person but to give it to you wholeheartedly correct Abu Fahad? Correct, correct we are already here and uh, I think this is the ch ch this chance uh, to start now absolutely don't wait up till the uh, end and then you come hurry 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 no come from the beginning absolutely do your job properly very slowly uh, not very but I mean <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it, have your time. Absolutely. Have your time to do your business in correct uh, way, and uh, don't, don't come in that. Yeah, Allah, do this, do this, do how to do this, how to do that. Then you will miss a lot of things that maybe you will not uh, reach to your target. Yeah, absolutely. What Abu Fahad is actually saying here is that be patient, 
do it slowly, but not very slowly. The I would say the elaboration, and he'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I know I'm not wrong here, is people usually saw the opportunities late when the 2006, 2007, 2008, the boom of the market of the real estate was there. Obviously, people had their misconceptions and global, and I, we've seen from history, global countries go through up and down. We go through ups and downs in our own lifestyles. Does not mean to say, oh, there's a huge bubble or there's a burst. There's not a bubble and there's not a burst. And obviously, to take advantage, to understand this with Expo 2020, obviously, the potential was there. Obviously, it's been recognized. Obviously, the judges and the jurors have visited Dubai, and Dubai is no different from one of your, you know, Western and global homes in a global village but it's to catch those opportunities and to feel mentally relaxed from the beginning so you have your opportunity to set up you have your opportunity to explore you have your opportunity to see and obviously to start gaining from now because subject to the kind of business Abu Fahad you are the tourism is booming already you can see the traffic's back on Sheikh Zayed Road is unbelievable and obviously the hotel occupancy is again over 100 percent as well so the interaction is already there it's you know, time to make the move. You know, Dubai didn't hit any cries. No. People thought. Absolutely. And have cries. And they start, some of them selling their uh, flat, their <laughs> shops. We used to buy because we know what our country and we know what we know uh, uh, what's been Dubai. We know vision of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. Absolutely. We know vision of our uh, government. Absolutely. And what's going, what, what would be in the future. Yeah. And we know we are business people we fight always to bring the business to our country yeah absolutely. now 50 percent and we i think in two months we'll go to 100 percent everything going up again yeah. you see so yeah. okay, Prices lost, are rising. and we, we, win. we win we are sure now, vision yeah. yeah what i'm saying now what i'm trying to say that people who will come now they will plan uh, to make their business in, in what this is what I, I I meant before that everything it is in good price they can rent in good good time uh, rent good time they can buy in good time they can do business in good time everything occurred. but if they come uh, late yeah. then everything will be uh, high again high and again, then expensive again, again they're yeah, double yeah. buying and everybody busy in that time yeah. maybe they will not even <laughs> get chance. To, uh, yeah. Everything will be, the buses will be full, the planes will be full, you won't get your ticket because obviously when the plane is full and you get a high profile ticket, the seats are high. And it's absolutely correct. People, you know, sold, went out when it was actually a time to keep the properties, time to ride through that moment. We were the biggest examples, being the largest real estate, having promoted Dubai even at that time, you know, uh, and having won the award of excellence and being recognized here in Dubai for having that vision. And even though everybody disappeared and, you know, we had misrepresentation presentations and everything but it's your sagacity it's your voraciousness your honesty that makes you maintain yourself and alhamdulillah we are proud of having still sustained those times and still remained with Dubai and still remained with the support for Dubai and positively still promoted Dubai despite mashallah all the tests and trials that came in our way and the award of excellence that I got spoke volumes for that as well so absolutely this is the time this is the time to buy this is the time to invest and this is the time whether it's a commercial whether it's a residential whether it's investment for whichever way you're doing it this is the time to steadily to take part of that advantage what you most probably may have missed in the beginning of those investments days and came into the investment slightly later now you have seven full years of opportunities to come explore benefit ripe reap and reward in all aspects of concern and obviously as you can see with Abu Fahad here we are here on a professional manner like we did like from our track record like from our experience to support you individual investors you viewers you businessmen or you tourism in all aspects of concern because we're doing tourism we're doing legal we're doing licenses and we're giving you the sponsors and the opportunities the way our businesses are are packaged is with dignitaries like this is to back you on a government you know, basis. Like I said many months ago, Abu Fahad, before we got the Mashallah Expo 2020, somebody asked me, London, about seven, eight months back, what do you think for Expo 2020? What is going to happen? I said, what is going to happen? Dubai, mashallah, will host Expo 2020. That's what's going to happen. And they laughed at me. They said, you, you sound so confident. And, and you know, a, 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 a very, very big difference between other countries in uh, 
and Dubai when we went to uh, Expo 2020. Yeah? yeah, absolutely. This is what this is mean. Everybody in the world believe us. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Why not? Yeah. That we trust in us, faith in us, and having obviously believed in us because they've come, they've seen, they've witnessed, and Dubai, mashallah, always hold held the potential and still is holding the potential. This is what I was telling my viewers. People have come and seen this. They've seen for themselves what Dubai is. We have the metro, we have the Burj Al Arab, we have the you know we have the beaches, we have the largest. It's like we spoil you. If you come to the Royals Royces and from the pick and drop from the hotels and taking you around and the nightclubs, every opportunity is there. We spoil you. You know, like you pamper the baby. Yeah. We pamper everybody, correct? Yeah. There's no other beautiful words of saying. So if you want to get pampered, then UAE Dubai is your next stop shop for pampering and all at cost effective prices. Obviously, what do you earn for? You I earn will to bring spend them here also. Inshallah, we'll yeah. the tour. That's, oh, yeah. that's, that's for the, the tourism. Tour is, yes, yes, for the yes, tourism. Yes, yes. This will be part the of the planning. Here. We were discussing the in party will be here. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, the party will be home here in the desert, the Arabian Nights, as we say. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after the break. Going to touch bases on some personal notes. So stay tuned. What's your hobbies? Well, all the time, work, work, work. So that's the greatest hobby yeah, is, is yeah. your work as well. The best day today we came to this desert and uh, changed our life. Yeah, that, <laughs> thanks to Abu Fahad and the close relations that we have with him. Obviously, he's a main leader in one of our shows as well. Uh, Abu Fahad is our brother actually here and Mr. Atik is our brother also here. Well, viewers, welcome back after the break. And as you know, we were sitting with Abu Fahad, and obviously we have to give the opportunity to all our loved guests here in the desert. As you can see, can't get more natural. I'm here, mashallah, with um, not only two, three more officials. Mainly, I got Atik Al Dairi here with me from Real Estate. I'll do the formal introduction. They will introduce, and mashallah, we've also got Sheikh Adnan and Sheikh Adnan also from Saudi Arabia. As we always say in the HKSZ show, uniting the Arab world, GC. Um, entirely on Dubai UAE platform. So we're in the obviously Al Ain deserts and I'll go straight to it and then I'll give a further introduction because mashallah they're both being in the real estate have huge creditabilities as well as a great personality. I mean you might be looking at our red cheeks we've just about stopped laughing because obviously we can't share those comments with you. <laughs> And we've also got Dr. Walid with us as well. We've told him to tuck in with us. Um, Atik Al Dairi, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh. Um, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah wa Barakatuh. Kefalik? Alhamdulillah. Shukbarik? Alhamdulillah, Nishkarullah. How is everything? How are you feeling in the desert and this little party we have in the gathering? Actually, is the, the desert is our home. We are living in the desert and we actually create the desert to be green. You can see it, it's green naturally, but we make it with the you know, as the pastor was Sheikh Zaid, he make it as a garden of the GCC. Sheikh Zaid, the late Sheikh Zaid, mashallah, who had the huge historical visions and who also was the founder and brought the UAE together. He is the leader and the, found, the founder of UAE. And still in millions of our hearts around the world for bringing the world together. Always we say Sheikh Zaid never die. He is really in our blood and in our new generation, they know who is the leader of UAE. As we say, the true leader, and you're saying living in the hearts of everybody. They say true people always live in the hearts. Yeah, but as here is in UAE, you can see everything is come with a promise. The promise, it means the, the right of the people. When we promise here anything for anybody, especially the foreigner people, they live here in our country like they are live in their countries, but is the freedom is they can't touch it here. See, so again, equality, 200 nationalities, as we always say, a true platform for equality. And it's, it's simple, live 
and let live, respect and gain respect. And I think that's what Mr. Al Dairi here is saying that our love extends from our visions from the past with our great leaders. Obviously, good people leave good feelings in their heart, and his vision is the same for all people around the world that come, come to Dubai, the UAE, and with Expo 2020 coming, this is your one stop destination to everything. I'd like to go directly to Sheikh Adnan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Kefalak? Fine, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Well, I would like to give a formal introduction. A man of great visions, and um, I'll come back to Atik as well. A man of great visions who's won, obviously, <coughs> awards. Awards for speciality, <laughs> awards for technicality, <laughs> and an award for not to waste time. This is the man behind when they say, take your car directly to your apartments. Already fulfilled over in Saudi, he's from Saudi Arabia, as we say GCC here in Dubai. But at the same time, the same concept is being invented with his doctor and consultant um, right beside him here in Dubai. So obviously if you're in a rush in anything, you don't waste time, you get into your car and you go straight to the apartment. Is that <laughs> what it's about? It's right, that's right, yeah. So tell us about your success, about your vision, about this tower and how this concept became came about. You know, you know, uh, when you go with the car to your flat, that is a kind of a solution for uh, social problems. You have a full privacy for the people who are living in the house. Uh, if your neighbor is not good, no relation, you can go on back. If your neighbor is good, you can have a relation with him. This is a point from the car going inside your flat. This is the main uh, item. Okay. And the other, you are saving a time, you are saving a parking, uh, many other items. But the main item is a full privacy. So, so you're saying so, full privacy, love thy neighbor. You know, they say if you, not love, if you don't love your neighbor, you cannot <laughs> love some, anybody some, else. Not, <laughs> not, not all the neighbors are good. Yeah, the privacy. Sometimes some neighbor is not good. Yeah. So you, some of the people, they leave the house because of a bad neighbor. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason. But it's a, it's a great invention. I mean, car, what, what, whatever made you think of it, apart from the privacy, how did you come up with the concept? Take the car straight dream. to, and then, and then to actually deliver? Dream, dream, and after that, we, the, the dream come a fact. <laughs> so they say Dubai and the GCC, we in are dreamers in, of a vision, in, in yeah? Dub in Dubai, we are trying to do the same. Mm -hmm. We came to work in Dubai. Actually, in Dubai, we did not have seen any different from Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. It's like our country. All of the people here, they are most will come for us, no difficulties, everything is easy and moving easy. And we are moving more and more. So when you we say... Don't, we don't feel any different. So family is here, it's like our family in Saudi Arabia. So it's true that we are one Arab, one nation, one vision, one humanity, yes. and one way That's towards right. success, pain, doesn't matter, grief or whatever, always stand by each other, right? Yes. That's, That's right. the way it should be. That's right. So yes. you don't feel that any differentiation between Dubai and Saudi Arabia no, for home? No, 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 at all. What's your vision towards the Western world in what our contribution as Arabs are to the whole world? What is our contribution to them? I think the real estate in the Arab countries become a future for the next 10, 20 years. Absolutely. Because some countries have a problem. So they stop all the building and continuation of the development. That became a more need for the house and for the building. So the Arab area is now is more important man than any other country. Absolutely. For the next 10 or 20 years. Okay. Yeah. Now, you know, you live such a dynamic life, you're so inventive in what you're doing in your professional life. What do you do in your personal life? You must be even more exciting. Tell yeah. us a bit about your personal maybe, side. Maybe, the... maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about how you pass your time. What do you do? What's, what's your hobbies? Well, all the time, work, work, work. So that's the greatest hobby yeah, is, is yeah. your work as well. The best day today we came to this desert and uh, changed our life. Yeah, th <laughs> thanks to Abu Fahad and the close relations that, that we have with him. Obviously, he's a main leader in one of our shows as well. Uh, Abu Fahad, he is our brother actually here. And Mr. Atik, he is our brother also here. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We are one family. Again, we can say it. We are really one family. Because here in GCC country, all the Arab, it's one family, we feel it. Also, the foreigner people who's coming to our country, they are take their rights like the local. Absolutely. So what, what do you, when you say the, they take their rights like the local, it's like basically what he means is it's equality. It's right, but it's always uh, when the, our uh, leaders speech 
and they said the government give all the facility for the local and the foreigner. Always two, these two words together comes. Never only say local. They said local and the foreigner who live in this country. That's mean all the nationality, which is more than 202 nationality in my country. So even, there you go. even if you go with a taxi driver, he is happy in this country. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So that's a great saying that even up into the taxi driver, even up to the laborer. So the bottom line yeah, is even happy, the laborer yeah, yeah. Yeah. has a huge equality and a, and a great lifestyle and treated in all fairness. And at the same time to have leaders who have a vision. And as we say, having great leaders and great visions in Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in Dubai. Yes, and the president of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. We can say all these leaders, they have really vision to the country. Always we success, always we can say we want to be number one. See, like they say, the visions of such leaders is not only, like we were saying just before the previous dialogue, for the locals. Their vision is that the foreigner and the local is alike, meaning whether they are guests, whether they are inhabitants of our country, they get the equal rights and are to be treated in all fairness, regardless of color, creed, race, or religion. And obviously, um, Atik was saying here about um, Sheikh Zayed, um, Khalifa, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, which is from Abu Dhabi. The, the, the leader of United Arab Emirates. The main, obviously, and it's like one household, and it's the visions and the leaderships, and basically their ideas that are today reality, which you can see on a global scale. And as we say, cameras always taking you to places and behind the scenes where nobody has been before. Stay tuned to hksz.tv. You can email us at info at hksz.tv or nasser at hksz.tv if you have any personal questions or you want to bring to the roles and the dignitaries in any aspect, or log on to www hksz.tv our online TV portal and as we say a great thank you to all our broadcasting partners too we can proudly say Dubai UAE and the GCC is awake when the foreigner is sleeping or anybody is sleeping because we're always active without going into the security issues we're alert all over whether it's the malls whether it's the streets our intelligence mashallah is strong our love yeah. for the struck infrastructure is strong and and you know also there is there's some something you know I like it too much from Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, something you know, I think that nobody do the same all over the world. got you know a very quiet star in town here as well with us on <laughs> the you. show <laughs> and um, welcome sorry we were you know all interacting we've got um, Walid here and he'll yeah. tell you about Walid tell us a bit about yourself first of all assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh this is uh, Walid Lotfi actually I'm an architect as I said before and I graduated in 1981 from Cairo University mashallah I worked over there in Cairo more than 20 years then uh, I visited uh, Dubai uh, in on uh, 2000. Okay. Uh, it was the first time actually, and I like the place very much, Dubai itself, and also the, the the UAE. So I decided to come and start my business here, and uh, so uh, uh, I shared in in the in the development uh, uh, happened here in Dubai uh, uh, that days. Uh, uh, actually, the, the, the point which I, I want to add more to what Sheikh Adnan said and Mr. Atik also said that, you know, the difference here in, in, in Dubai uh, that uh, with the 200 nationality, absolutely, everyone can live here peacefully without uh, or he doesn't need to change his nature or his culture. He can live with his own uh, uh, culture and, and the, the point is that we all we need to respect 
the, the rules of the country. But otherwise, يعني, I'm, I'm, I came from Egypt. So uh, uh, I live with the nature of Egypt, but I live here in Dubai with the luxury of Dubai. Absolutely. Uh, and I believe that the world is, is, is a home of all of us. Global village. It's a global village. Yeah. Global and, home, yeah. And why it's a global village? Because, you know, uh, uh, Allah, uh, 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 he... Uh, uh, created us from only one father and one mother. So That's it right. means that we are all brother and we are all families. Absolutely. The difference is that one family live in UAE, other family live in Europe, other families live in, 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 in the, uh, America. And because the life started in this area, so whatever the, uh, any obstacles or any bad circumstances we uh, 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 face earlier or now, the life will continue and it will con continue also here in, in this area. It will not uh, finish. So, uh, and you know, some, some people when I visited uh, many times uh, uh, European country, they sure. said that uh, 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 the Dubai lifestyle, yeah, it's, it's very nice, but also it's too much luxury there. <laughs> some people they feel that this luxury is something abnormal yeah but you know i believe that you know uh, 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 the the this luxury of life also give uh, other people support because you know yani, like mr adnan or sheikh adnan he said that he built his uh, 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 building as a uh, the only first building having the car access to direct to the to, to your home but you know when he start built his project, he used a labors from everywhere. Yes, that's right. So, so that's mean that, you know, from all countries or whom we can say that poor countries, they came here to, 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 the, to, to, work, the, to, to the GCC. That's right. They, they live, they, 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 they uh, you know, they have uh, uh, a good food, they have a good uh, living. Uh, uh, living. They also send money to their family, which means that, you know, because Allah created the life on different level. No one can, but even the rich man or the poor man, we are all serving each other. That's right. It's not a matter that the poor man is serving the me. No, it's a circle, you know, yeah. Yeah. it's a circle. Everyone right. serving others. That's right. So this, this, this is the meaning of the life. I cannot say that yeah. this man is more rich than me. No, but also as, I, as we discussed today with Sheikh Adnan that this poor man, he can do something. I cannot do it. That's right. Everybody has their contribution. Everybody has their ability. Yeah, we all Everybody contributed. Everybody has a human you know? gift at the end of the day. Yeah. And that's the human attribute. What you can do, most probably I can't do. So, what I can do, most probably you can't do. And without right. you and me, I mean, coming together, you're a force. You're united. Yeah. And being separated, you're just breaking away from your attributes or from your success or from what you could have done, what you're bringing together. And it's true because like um, Walid gave an example, your family could be in America. Your family could be, you know, in Europe. You do not forget the love for your family so same here it doesn't matter what color creed or race or religion you are we respect you on that basis as equal that we value you you value us just like we live in london yeah just like we live in the united states yeah, yeah. But the luxury is not abnormal because it's extra to your shall we say hardships it's more easier to be accessible and cheaper and obviously like you come from a tiring days of work what do you have to do nothing here yeah? there's much more opportunities much more luxury much more comfort easy accessible yeah. like you could have a main here which you know for not for high expensive prices where in the European or the Western world it would not be yeah. that easily accessible so there is I understand what you're saying that you're creating jobs which in a normal stance you know there's a lot of unemployment around that, the that's world that's why Dubai went the, the, the expo because uh, uh, I told uh, Sheikh Adnan today that I believe that Dubai will save the economics of the world that's right absolutely that's because a huge only concept. Dubai only Dubai Huh? Yeah, uh, yeah. Over the four uh, 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 competitors. Uh, co competitors, only Dubai need others to come and leave and build. Because yeah. you, Dubai has delivered and it's evident. It's there. When you go to the other countries and you see and you see what Dubai has to offer from the minute you land okay. at the airport. I mean, you don't even have to go outside, even if you are not coming into Dubai yeah. and you're going through Dubai. Even the airport yeah. gives you so much that your time yeah. is not enough yeah. and you're on to the next um, plane and you're gone. But yeah. you remember that as a vision. Obviously, I've been interacting since the 19s, but obviously it's a huge success in itself. That that speaks volumes as well. I mean, Emirates, look, we interviewed Emirates, we've covered Emirates and it's a huge platform, like from the landing, 
from Touch and Go, for tourists, from Expo. And you're right, I agree with you. It will be one of the largest economies of the world because it, you cannot say that it has failed in the past or everybody has a test run up and down, but come back stronger, yeah, come back better, which means your foundations are strong. Yeah. And, and you know, if, if the point is that the, the heat here the, in, in, in UAE or in the GCC, the luxury is more, but also when you say that the Rolls Royce uh, 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 factory, they sell here the maximum or the, 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 the top cars, but also you should think where these cars manufacture. Yes, manufacture in, 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 in Europe. That's so right. it means that the Europe factories are working for uh, Dubai. For Dubai. So Absolutely. everyone, you know, I have money, and you do the, 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 the manufacture. And, and as we said now, you know, life is circle. So 600 years back or 700 years back, the, 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 this, this area was leading the world. Yeah, when, when Europe, uh, 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 you know, having problem or, or, or living in a dark uh, area. And now the, the, yeah, now the, the Europe countries or, or Western countries have more more uh, advanced in in the in technology in, in technology and so it's but circle you know it's absolutely it, it goes around like it say, goes one, around one, yeah. you know you learn from each other today is there today is there but if you look at the implementation or go into the arabic history or go into our culture or go into the art or go into the civilization yes. even the writing the paper the pen all stems from the origination from Arabia. Yeah. And you can go how many? You can go BC, before BC, and go even before that thousands of years. Yeah. So, okay, it's how you utilize it, basically. Yeah. It's how you, um, you know, form it. But science, whether phrenology, dendrology, ethnology, we usually, as you can see, and Walid has touched base on a lot of Islamic, and Islamic is known for us, art, history, culture, civilization. And that's the concept that we are revealing in the further episodes that we stem from a root that even nature accepts because yeah. science comes from nature. If there's no nature, there is no science. Yeah. If there is nothing to study, there is no doctor. Yeah. If there is no building, there is no, if there's no architect, there is no building. So yeah. it's created, but behind this creation is a creator. Yeah. And all the power points to an imperium source. We call imperium meaning the most powerful source, which we call Allah. Yeah. You know, you can say Allah or you can say imperium in an intellectual manner. The main concept, there's a force. There's, yeah. there's right. the source. There's a force yeah. and, and this force circling the world, you exactly. know. Exactly. These days, uh, technology was Europe, but earlier technology was here or the scientific world was here. So, because Allah is the fair with us in, in this life, Absolutely. Fi finally, there is something different. There is death. There is death. There, there is death. And so after this, Allah that. will judge. Right. Who is good and who is bad? There was no life, there is life. There will be death, the biggest factor of our existence. And we were talking about Kaimba before we get into start going into the scientific facts, which I'm saving for the later episodes. I'll touch base on the Rolls Royce and the manufacturers. You could actually, even the average person can book into a hotel and have the luxury to drive a, a Rolls Royce yeah. and get it, get access to you know a chauffeur driven from hotel to airports to wherever they want to yeah. go. And I'll touch base with Atik Ati here. I think you were saying something about the tax-free. It's because it's all tax-free here, isn't it? I mean, you're not paying the huge VAT or the taxes that you are paying worldwide. Actually, uh, this country, the vision of the leader of this country, they are thinking about the foreigner before the local. When they said there is no tax, what that means? That means the country is secured. The country, it's have the powerful to get these people to come here for security reasons. Many uh, people coming for security. We are safe, the safest country now in the world, we can say. And we are also here to encourage the people to come to our country to live like their home. Some of them said, I pay many taxes in my, ha in my home, in my country, but here I didn't pay anything because there is security, there is justice, there is a country love the other nation. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. The security factor, what Adik is saying, is is so true in the GCC worlds and not only Dubai because the crime rate virtually zero um, happenings that happen burglaries and robberies and all these things that we hear in female harassments and all sorts of in other parts of the world that you hear from without labeling anybody because we're not here to label anybody it's a fair and equitable world it doesn't happen here in the UAE in Dubai why because our system our love our operation our implementation is so strong and you can easily like in certain countries you can't walk the street at two o'clock in the morning here you can walk the marina even three o'clock in the morning and know you are safe why because like they say 
we are awake when you are sleeping. The army dialogue yeah. usually is saying that. <laughs> and we can proudly say Dubai, UAE, and the GCC is awake when the foreigner is sleeping or anybody is sleeping because we're always active without going into the security issues. We're alert all over, whether it's the malls, whether it's the streets. Our intelligence, mashallah, is strong. Our love yeah. for the yeah. infrastructure yeah. is strong. And, and you know, also there is there's some, something, you know, I like it too much from Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, something, you know, I think that nobody do the same all over the world. That, Absolutely, that's a great. That Sheikh Mohammed, uh, 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 maybe every year, uh, 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 they all ministers together, they came and stay in desert yeah. for for a certain of time, which they, 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 they name it by Khilwa. Okay. All the ministers, they sit together, ladies and, 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 and uh, men, they, all the ministers, you know, they, they sit for a week, for 10 days to discuss what they going to do in the future for this country. Picnic and he, tell me, meeting, tell me, meeting, tell me, really. tell me who is doing that. To tell me meeting in the yeah. desert. In the desert. And yeah. 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 you show me yes. whose yes. government do something like that. No. That's why picnic. they are family. <laughs> Business picnic. Yes. <laughs> they are one family. <laughs> Business picnic. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Business picnic in the desert. Where do you find such leaders? Yes. Where? Nowhere. Nowhere. I can. I, I'm born and brought up in the UK, and I can proudly say, having travelled the world, nowhere. Nowhere. I mean, yeah. I was seeing a video the other day, and I was shocked where they showed, without saying anything, they showed one. Um, is it's a clip on on TV, and they're showing one um, little prince going just to the desert, and the protocol, 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 protocol is army. It's like a force of army of cars. But then you see Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum going to um, the Dubai Mall. Nobody. He's just walking. Walks into the and, mall and and you know also during any any uh, 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 national days or vacation or something Absolutely. like that, you find also Sheikh Mohammed and his son, you know, riding their helicopter and going around just to enjoy or or to 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 investigate that everyone enjoy his life in Dubai during the happening? vacation. Absolutely. Who's doing that? Nobody. We saw Sheikh Hamdan climb Burj. <laughs> Khalifa from the Expo 2020 with the with the, that yeah. we, we are there. Alhamdulillah. And I, 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 Even this I this uh, famous uh, uh, American actors uh, he ride uh, Burj Dubai in, in the, his latest film. Yeah, Tom, Cruise? Tom, Tom Cruise. Tom yeah. Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Even he, he he didn't do that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he didn't that, do that. That, that, was, Marshall, that was amazing. We saw yeah. the Crown Prince Sheikh Hamdan on the you know the <laughs> eve in the winning of um, the Expo 2020 <laughs> on, and we'll show you those clipses <laughs> as well. We have saved them on um, Burj Khalifa right at the top and you know we say waving the flag of the ua this so, is an example this is the invitation yeah. this is where we are you've got sheikh adnan Atik, you've got walid you know you shake um shall we say um abu fahad do we usually say in the desert this is what it's all about that you do not forget your roots your natural being and this is how you should be so wherever you, you are. have only one option is to love to live in this country, we are we are happy. It's only one option. Love for others, what you love for yourself, cannot get a greater example. We're going to we carry on. Say like what Sheikh Mohammed, always like this. <laughs> yeah. U A E. <laughs> this is the sign, as we say, of the map. And I'm going to carry on. And thank you very much, viewers. Stay tuned to the HKSZ show. We'll see you on another episode, taking the cameras once again behind scenes where nobody has been. Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, uniting the Arab world, our mission, our vision of HKSZ.TV and group of companies. Stay tuned with a lot more coming. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Jazakallah khair. Thank you for your wishing you all the best. And we will bring the cameras to the first camera will be in the lift to the apartments. And now we're formally going to go to Saudi Arabia and continue in Dubai. Stay tuned. See you on our next episode. Thank you.